The fitness industry is saturated with information. And if you're brand new to this, you're probably overwhelmed. But don't worry, because in today's video, I'm going to show you a tier list of the people, fitness influencers that you can follow, and that will make your fitness journey a little bit more simple. So let's get right into it. All right. So, oh, <clears throat> let's put this uh, somewhere over here. Uh, I'm going to show you 14 people that I believe you should follow uh, and you should listen to, and some of the people that you probably shouldn't listen to. I'm going to explain one by one why you should not listen to or why you should listen to them. First of all, a few of these people got me from point A to point B. And that's pretty much why I want to show this video. I want to, I wish I had this when I started my fitness journey because um, it was kind of like tedious to find the right information. It took me probably longer than, than I wanted to. But with this tier list, I hope that someone can reduce the amount of time to get gains and lose body fat at the same time with other use of uh, doing pathetic enhancing drugs that yes so let's start with the let's pick this one here uh mario rios mario rios uh he's a c category why well he's too loud he just he just talks a lot and he says uh, you should not do this um this is not like, come on, man, like, relax. It's not that, it's not that deep. And he's a little young, too, so I'm not sure. He um, has a huge following, but I, I believe he's just mainly um, because he's loud. Uh, let's go with now uh, this guy. You guys probably seen him before. I'll put him on a B tier. And the reason why I'm doing that is because um, he's definitely not natural. And I don't have anything against the dude. He, so he sounds like a good guy. And... Uh, kind of funny sometimes, but I really don't think he's a person that you, if you are under the age of 25, should be um, aiming to be look, looking like, because to look like that guy, you need to be in a lot of uh, medicine, if you will. Let's continue with Daddy Noel. Daddy Noel, he's a pretty cool cool dude uh, i like his content he's also like you know like sam and that kind of stuff but he's more educational than anything and i really enjoy his content he's a very very well-rounded person and um yeah his name is daddy no like why we, why wouldn't you like someone with that name let's continue with uh, mr jeff jeff cavalier what are we doing with jeff what are we doing with jeff let's see Let's put him. Uh, let's put him at A. He's been in the middle of a lot of controversy, and um, and as far as like that goes, I don't really know why people don't like him. I know that a lot of people don't like him, but uh, his content is pretty educational. And if you're brand new to the fitness industry, he might help you. He might help you to get to the next level in uh, you know different movements and different uh, type types of exercises, because the guy knows his stuff. Like that's for sure. Now, if you are looking to get more of a <laughs> fun, educational, nutritional type of uh, fitness information, you can go with Greg Set. I found him like six, seven months ago. He's pretty funny. He's a hilarious dude. And uh, he's a bodybuilder. Um, of course, you know, he's in the older age bracket kind of thing. He's like, I think he's 47. But his content is pretty entertaining and he's very loud too, like Mario, but at least he has something to back it up. You know, he, he has he has a career in this. Oh, I'm going to put a name. I'm going to attack all these people, at least a B tier and up. I'm going to attack them all so you can go in the description and see and, you know, go pretty quick and find them. So Mikey Sattel, uh, with Mikey Sattel, I really, I can't give him an A. Why? Because a little... I want to say, what, cocky? I don't know. I'm, I'm cocky myself, but I don't like him that much. His information is great. Don't get me wrong. That's why I'm putting him on a B tier. Um, you should definitely give him a try. If you are into long breakdowns, he doesn't do a lot of edits when he's doing his um, content, which maybe that's, that's more of like the elder generation. Like if you want to get someone to, to explain something, he puts like a notepad in his uh on the screen and he like breaks down exactly what he's talking about easy digestible kind of content again not a lot of edits not a lot of fancy edits um he does have some funny moments and then he makes me laugh so that's why he has he's on a b 
uh, in the B part, not in the C one. Now let's move into seeing this guy before. This is someone that I put on a C and I have my reasons to. Um, he's doing great now, right? He's like telling everyone, hey, you know, mind your own business and be, be good in the gym. I don't like him because he scam a bunch of people here in YouTube 2016. Um, that's what I, I know about the guy and that's how I remember him. He's kind of like almost down there, but because he's doing something good now, I guess I'm putting, putting him on a C. C, uh, C minus. I don't know if you notice, I haven't put anyone in the S tier, so let's start with that now. Mr. Jeff Napier, of course, S tier. This guy, this guy got me this case. I started watching him back in 2020, and uh, the way that he explained things, like, I got it really quick. Uh, that's someone that you should follow and you should listen to if you are trying to get gains as a natural, 100%. He's 100% natural, and his information is pretty uh, easy to digest. Dylan McKnight, I made a video about this guy. <laughs> he's trash. Uh, if you don't know why he's trash, I'm going to leave a link down in the video so you can watch that. Uh, but he's there. He's the first one. Uh, Chris Hera. Chris Hera. Oh, if you love calisthenics, that's the dude that you should follow. He's been doing this for years. He has like 6 million followers. Oh, uh, subs. YouTube. He's pretty good. Like, uh, I learned how to do my first muscle up because of him. And of course, many other YouTubers. But he's the one that kind of breaks it down for you. And he has like a, 10 different videos on how to do muscle ups. And in every video, you learn something new about it. So... Just giving him a follow. Jeremy Ethier. Jeremy Ethier is A tier. I like him, but there's something I have against, and not against, like, it, it, he does have a, a good physique, but that's not the physique that I want to get. He's, he's great. That's why he's above, you know, like Mike and uh, and this guy, Mr. Sulik, right? Uh, as far as like knowledge and uh, very, very good um, type of content. If, if you want something really easy to digest, that's the guy that you want to, want to look for uh next we have the the trend twins trash yeah why hmm. come on man do i have to explain that no uh, oh my dude oh more plays more dates look i don't know if you noticed these two are natural and you might say hey fit panda why are you putting all the naturals in the s tier no 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 i'm also putting mr deck with more plays more dates uh, even though he's a hundred percent, hundred and ten percent promoter of performing, enhancing that, he's someone that um, keeps it real. He's very honest about it, and I've learned a lot about this stuff. If you are curious on what these things do to your body, he's the person that you want to follow uh, and watch his content. Also, he, he did a pretty interesting video clapping back at uh, Logan Paul. You should watch this like an hour long video. If you have an hour, you should watch that video. That'll explain why I put him on an S tier because that guy knows his stuff. This last person is someone that, uh, rest in peace, Mr. Mountain Dog. He passed away a few years ago. He used to like do a lot of workouts with Jeff Nipper. And um, I like the way that he breaks down things. That was it, guys. So make sure to leave a comment down below. If I had this tier list wrong, 100%, 90%, if you think things should have been in, in a different way, I'm open to suggestions. I'll probably do another one if you like that kind of stuff. Because I haven't seen anyone doing tier lists for fitness influencers recently. So if you're watching all the way to the end, thank you, I guess. Appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like button um, or a dislike button if you didn't like it. I don't know. Do whatever you want. That's all I have for today. Stay natural. See ya.